change the color of a link and also its behavior when I hover over it. Um, right now, the this link right here, we change the, the decoration so that there's no underline. And that's fine. And and the color is still blue, and that's that's fine. Um, except that if we look at what we're trying to do here, do you notice the behavior is slightly different here? And here, everything's black, and when you hover over the link, only the link, the link sort of pops up, it glows this red color. So um, how do we do that? Because it's it's different than down here. Here we have these other links, right? And they don't act that way. So I know that I know how to change. I know how to tweak the behavior of, of links, like using this a tag. Um, that's how we change. You know, we remove the underline by using this text decoration none attribute. But how do we tweak the behavior, the look of a link, just in one section? And We've actually already sort of seen this when when we sort of when we decided we wanted to change the margin for the images, but only inside the footer. We can use the same principle, um, and in using this priority thing right here, this this priority ID, that's where this link is located. Let's actually look at the page we're working on. That's where this link is located. So we can do the same thing. We can actually say, okay, inside the priority ID. Okay, whenever you see a link, okay, that's what A is, I want you to apply this style to it. And that's going to apply, whatever I type inside here, will get applied only to the links that are inside the priority ID. Okay, so what do we actually want to do? What we want to do is we want to change the color to, to be the same thing um, as the text color inside the priority right here, right? That's that dark black that we were looking at or sort of dark charcoal. So let's just copy that and change that. Let's hit save and let's see what happens. If I re hit reload, there we go, our link is black, but it doesn't have that hover effect yet. Okay, it's, it's looking very close, but it doesn't have that hover effect yet. I want it to, to, to hover over. I want, to, I want whenever I hover over this to ch for that to change color. And that's where we use what's called a pseudo class. And what that looks like is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say priority A, but we're going to add a pseudo class to this link. And the pseudo class is going to be called hover. And that what that is, is that it, it's sort of like a, it's, it's a little indicator that you're now saying anytime you're inside the, the priority ID and you see a link and the user hovers over it, I want you to change the color yet again. And the color we're going to use, what color are we going to use here? Um, let's actually have a look at our color palette. I'm gonna go back here, open up our color palette, and pick a color that's gonna really stand out. Um, st still within our, I'm actually thinking this this lighter red right here might stand out a bit more. So let's let's go take a look. Let's, what would happen if we actually added this, this 9C0, uh, B40. Yeah, let's try that out. So I've saved that. I'm st still within my palette. And let's go to go to Chrome. Let's reload this. And now let's see what the behavior is like. If I hover over, there you go. Can you see that? When I hover over here, the link changes color. And I, that could be a different color. I could make it bright green if I wanted to, but I think that works for now. Um, we're really close, eh? Oh, check that out. All right. Awesome. Um, that's all I got for right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.